We don't want to be pushed past eight mile being spoke out into Oakland County, broken up into 22 pieces with only seven representatives living in the city of Detroit. We knew that was wrong from the onset and we're now looking to fix that. And so hopefully with the special master working collaboratively with those who know Detroit, who know where Dexter is, yeah. who know where Elmwood is, who know where Mac and Bewick is and not just have to look at a map. Well, you've really encapsulated this idea of communities of interest that where you live really matters in terms of the 100%. issues that are important to you. I mean, that is a reasonable and cogent way of, of totally looking at this. A panel of three federal judges essentially agreed with Sherry Gay Daniogo, a former state lawmaker and current school board member in Detroit, who along with several other Detroiters felt newly drawn legislative lines are unfair and unconstitutional. Anytime that you put together Brightmore and Birmingham, we know that there are distinct economic differences uh, and the makeup of, of those communities, their needs are totally different. While Michigan's Independent Citizens Redistricting Commission has been tasked with going back to the drawing board, there's still the possibility they could appeal the judge's decision. At the same time, the commission is facing filling several vacancies. But I think the most pressing thing is to get the new people on the commission, get them trained, get them ready, but the commission needs a cohesive game plan to deal with this issue. And yesterday at the public meeting, it was unfortunate that the three commissioners who were advocating fixing the Detroit maps, complying with the court order, were sidelined. And instead, the commission moved into a closed session meeting to discuss an appeal. And then when they came out of the closed session, they did not have enough members to have a quorum to vote on next steps. There are many questions we still don't have the answers to. This is a new model in America. And many of us have said we like the fact that lawmakers are no longer doing it because it's no longer partisan. It's not Democrats or Republicans. But it can go wrong when you're not an expert in politics, when you're not an expert in the law, when you're not a constitutional expert. Correct. And so is this <clears throat> an overall condemnation of this new model which people wanted? I don't think so. It was never intended this lawsuit to be an indictment of the independent redistricting citizen-led commission. Unfortunately, I think it spun off the tracks a little bit with the experts that were retained and one of which resigned yesterday. And that's why I think a special master would be so important to help guide the process. Hillary Goldston, Fox 2 News.